Well, hello, folks, and hello to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. This is a uh, little video that I put together for all the moms and all the moms-to-be. Um, kind of just walking and talking. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful here, and uh, I, I actually took this video on Saturday, and uh, that is May 11th, 2024. And uh, so I'm going to do a little kind of a message bag reading uh, towards the end here. And uh, it's kind of interesting. But right now I'm heading to the um, Spirit Hotspot. Now this is uh, this is a new spirit hotspot that I have not um, showed you all on the video, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. It really is, and uh, um, and it's peaceful. But um, this area that um, I'm at here, this is actually in Maryville, Tennessee, and um, this is the uh, Blunt Memorial Library, and um, this is a, it's a beautiful area. It really is. They've got the uh, the greenways here, the trails. Oh, there's so many trails in Maryville. There's so many, and down there is the waterway. Uh, and they called it the Green Belt. The trails all through here, and uh, here are some of the beautiful garden. Yeah, it is beautiful here. I'm telling you, it just really is. Um, and they have uh, folks that come out and they plant these flowers all through the city. And uh, they make these beautiful gardens. But, um, boy, I, and what a pretty day it was today. Yeah, I'm hoping you moms are going to have a good Mother's Day. Um it's been uh, quiet today. It's been a lot of weather uh, that's uh, come through our area here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I love these flowers. Look at that. It's just so nice. Um, it's uh, where we're heading to. Um, it's a uh, kind of a, it's called a bicentennial celebrate or bicentennial dedication uh, area and um, they built this area um, you know for the uh, Blunt County Bicentennial and all that and uh, but it the area that they made is actually a really good uh, spirit hotspot and um, they just uh, they did a beautiful job with that so and um We'll get down there in just a few minutes. I wanted to kind of show you around. And I know a lot of the folks that watch the video here, they love watching, um, you know, the area here. And um, and I was heading this way on the path, and I had completely forgot that they are... There's one of the uh, monuments there. They have... Um, they're took out the bridge down at the the uh, trail down there so you can't get across the waterway now they took the bridge out they're building a new bridge and so you either gotta go on this side or you go on the other side so the construction as you can see a little bit down there I didn't go all the way down but um, I thought I'd take a view of this or sh uh, show you a view of this little waterfall that they made and people come down here and they fish and they just have the best of time. Um, there's lots of wildlife here, and I mean a lot. So, but this is the uh, the bridge that goes across to uh, the uh, uh, from the library, Lot County Library. And um, it uh, really is beautiful, and um, I love coming down in this area and um, of course you can see there's always people down here and 
and walking and just having a good old time. And um, yeah, this area right here, Maryville is is well known for all the beautiful trails, uh, the walking trails that they have, and um, yeah, and it, it's just it's just a very very nice uh, area to be at. Um, and like I said, the trails through Maryville, my goodness, there's so many. I mean, they, they, they spread out and now they're trying to, they're working on connecting the trails. Look at these berries here. Um, they are going to connect the Greenway to, uh, the trails to Knoxville, Tennessee. So you'll be able to you either walk, hike, or bike from Maryville to Knoxville on uh, the uh, Greenway. And um, right now, honestly, you really need a, a bicycle uh, to get around the most of the trail, a lot of them, because um, there is just so many trails and they're so spread out. I mean, we're talking miles of trails and um, you start walking them, you, you, I mean, you could go 10, 20 miles of trails throughout the city and even more than that, probably. I mean, it's, there's a lot. Here's that waterfall there. And this fella right in the chair, I didn't really take his photo, but <laughs> this fella, he's down here, or seems like he's down here every time I've been down here. He just sits there and kind of chills and watches the uh the waterfall and you can uh notice up there this is really nice it really is it's a beautiful area here and um uh, the ducks is so funny they just set up on top of the uh waterfall there and um i'm i guess they slide down every once in a while but they've got it they've got it not look at there they're just <laughs> They're just sitting there, just soaking it all in, you know, enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's really nice. And there's a lot of fish in here. They uh, they stock it, so people are down here fishing all the time. And uh, lots of turtles and all kind of uh, wildlife down through here. And here's some more of the uh, flowers I thought I'd. Uh, video this for you moms out there and soon to be moms so yeah they uh beautiful daisies here and uh, yeah that's the one thing about this area in east tennessee that a lot of the towns they really go all out on some of the beautiful flowers and um they, and here in maryville they really do a beautiful job but this is, uh, yeah, this is the, this dedicated to the old railroad system. It used to come through Maryville. So now we are heading to the spiritual uh, hot spot. And this is actually really something, folks. You can get down here, you can meditate, and you can just uh, really just take in in. And I'll tell you, you really know when you get down here, if you sit and if you're real quiet, um, you can really feel the spirits around here. And um, there's uh, several people that actually come down here and uh, at certain times of the day and the evening, late in the evening, and they'll sit and uh, they'll even bring some of their um, like items you know, like some of their stones, maybe some of their water to uh, kind of get the spirit, you know, um, infused into it. And it's dedicated to from like presidents and and history, you know, things that's happened in the past. And it names people, you know, and famous people. And um, most of the people that it's talking about in the situations, you know, they've already passed away. And um, and so that's why I think that this area here brings in maybe the spirits and they kind of linger here, you know, because it is a monument made for um, 
the past, past history, and people that uh, you know did did a lot of things in history, and so they wrote a story. And each one of these little stories, or each one of these little plaques, will tell the story. And you can really feel the energy here. And as you swing around that circle right there, that a lot of people call that the spirit circle, circle, the spirit circle. And um, they feel that the, you know a lot of the spirits are right here in this spot. And you can feel an energy when you come to this. You really can. And it is a, uh, that's a really unique spot right here. So, yep. And I could feel an energy right here. So, and you can just, uh, yep, yeah, you really can. Just, uh, there's something about this spot right here is just peaceful. And you can feel that there's some activity you can really get close to some of the, uh, you know, if you're looking for right, like uh, maybe something from your relatives or, you know, a friends uh, that's no longer with us on this earth. Um, there's a connection here that you can feel. And uh, a lot of people will just come down here and just sit and just relax and, uh, and kind of see if they can connect to uh, possibly a uh, one of those spirits that they're looking for, you know, and um, and I sit and I will just uh, pray and give thanks. And there's a spot right here when you're looking. If you look up, um, you can say they say that in the trees straight ahead there, you can see an image. And the spirits will show you an image, but you have to just look at it and you will see. And I'm seeing like a little, like a little puppy. Um, I'm also seeing like maybe a, another little doggy. And I don't know why at this video I did, but, but people come here and they sit and they look at them at this spot and they see different things. So well, now hello, spirits. it is hello, time hello, moms that are for watching today. Thank you for watching um, our little uh, message. And I just doing a simple little word message um, and a the bag me message, the message bag, and a numbers. So this may mean something to you folks. And uh, this is dedicated to the moms and the moms to be I am going to spirits I have some a request but for all the moms that are watching out there and the moms to be um, I have some numbers and some messages I'd like to pull out and if you will relay some sort of message it can be a serious message it can be it can be whatever and I'm gonna pull out two numbers but first all the bad spirits, negative spirits, please go away. I want all the positive spirits in here on this session. You're welcome to come in. And I even have the mother bell. Love this. I use this for the tea leaf reading. Uh, but today, I am requesting that all the positive spirits come in and all the negative spirits, please, please go away. Please go away. All right, spirits. Now, first, I have our numbers bag here, and we have several numbers in this bag here. So, spirits, if you could, could you give us a number that may mean something to some of the moms or moms to be um, out there? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out two numbers. The first one I'm gonna roll. Help me. Help me roll that number and tell me what number it is. Oh, it is a three. Okay. So that may mean something to someone, one of the moms out there. And let's see. Oh, oh and we've got 12. So look at that. That's an interesting 
number right there, right? So it's 3 and 12. Or 3, 1, 12, 312. Number 3 and 12. So there you go. Or it could be maybe 12 and 3. Oh, yeah, 12, 13, 14, 15, if you add them up, right? Yep, okay. Now, next, spirits, I want to pull out. Next, I want to pull out the... This is the the letters here. Now, each each one of these little sheets here are just single uh, words. That's all it is. There's like almost two thousand in here, spirits. Two thousand words. I'm gonna pull out three words, spirits. And if you could help me, just three words that we can relate a message to. Some of the moms out here and moms to be, they may know what this what this means. So alright, so here's the first one. And the spirits, and the spirits. Digging deep in here. Let's pull them all up. I kind of fell into my hand there. Maybe we'll look at them in a minute. And let's see. This one right here. I think this one. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Let's take a look at these and see what the message is for our moms here. Oh, uh, brother. Oh, my goodness. You see that? It says brother. All right, that's a possible message there. Uh, and then we have could. Okay, could. Brother could. Hmm. Okay. And then our final word, hair. Okay, hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, could brother hair. Hair brother. So, folks, uh, yeah, hopefully this means something to you. Let me know in the comments if these words here, if they mean something. And you can kind of mix them up. But the next three messages, the sentences... They may go with that so that you may know something, but I'm very curious if this means something to you, to you all. It could. I don't know. You, it may mean something, though. One of them may mean something and could. I don't know what that would be, but it's interesting. It's always interesting. But you can always put it with this message, too. So I'm gonna, I've got the message bag here. We have over 1,500 messages in this bag here and these are sentence messages and this is the message bag spirits can you help me pull out three messages for our moms there all right so oh, that kind of fell in we'll look at that in just a minute there and let's, let's keep it digging now these are just random messages folks they can mean something they may not so don't know this is to the mom spirits Ooh, that one kind of fell right in there. So we'll look at that in a minute. And that one, that one kind of fell in too. All right. So there is that. So let's look at our first one. And let's see what it says here. You are in danger if you do not stop. Ooh, this is a message to either the moms or from a mom. It could be. It could be. You are in danger if you do not stop. Oh gosh. Now remember this, these over here could be something with that. So this is a very large ship. Now folks, I tell you, there's some moms out here that may know what this means. There's some soon to be moms that may know what this is a very large ship. And then finally, we have here, oh, I miss your mom. Oh my goodness, I miss your mom. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy, folks. That came up on Mother's Day. Isn't that something? Wow. Oh, happy Mother's Day there. How about that? So there you go, folks. We have the number 3 and 12. Could mean something. We have a brother. Could, hair. And then we have, again, you are in danger if you do not stop. Wow. And then this is a very large ship. And and I miss your mom. Well, there you go, folks. And there you go, moms and moms-to-be. This is your message. And I hope you enjoyed the 
uh, Spirit Garden, the Spirit Hotspot. I really enjoyed that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope. Yeah, that's uh, very interesting, folks. So let me know in the comments for sure uh, what you think. If this meant something to you, um, if you're a mom or a mom to be, or if it may have something to do with your mom, you know, your mom uh, may not you know be with us no longer and she could be sending a message to you so yeah let me know in the comments i'm i uh really really want to hear from you so all of you have a wonderful mother's day and i hope all of you have a very good day and please be safe and hug a loved one. If you have a loved one or care about someone, give them a hug, tell them you love them because you just never know. And folks, thank you so much. And spirits, you are now allowed to leave this session. And all the negative spirits, please leave. All the good spirits, you're welcome to leave. And I will ask your presence again very soon. Thanks for your help. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks. Please be safe out there. Until next time, folks, this is George, and we'll see you down there.